I am Pragya and I bring to you excerpts from the current issue of Outlook that looks at two cover stories, two narratives of war, one mythical, one real, Ramayan and that between Israel and Hamas. In the issue titled Epic Sisterhood, Outlook sketches out the women of Ramayan in an epic full of dominant male characters. Sita Sisters by Kavita Kain a best-selling author who has brought in feminism in mythology. Sita had a sister? This is the most instinctive response prompted by most, if not many. Yes, Sita had a sister, Urmila, and two cousins, Mandavi and Shutakirti, the two daughters of King Janak's brother. While the Ramayan provides an in-depth and multi-layered exploration of brotherly love, it is through Sita's sisters that we get a glimpse of a nuanced undercurrent of the theme of sisterhood and women's solidarity. The Ramayan is often seen as an exposition on ideal brotherhood, where the inherent affection amongst the brothers and the respect and regard for the elder siblings are never totally sacrificed for selfishness, power or greed. The theme runs across through four sets of brothers, Ram and his three brothers, Bali and Sugriv, Jatayu and Sampati, and finally Ravan and his two brothers, Kumbhakarn and Vibhishan. Against this grand symbolism of brotherhood are interspersed stories of women and the subtle stream of sisterhood, mostly relegated to be buried under the massive heft of the larger themes in the Ramayan. Sita's sisters struggle for cognizance as they refashion the narrative to reveal a series of stories of women and these four siblings in particular. Lest we forget, the Ramayan is a story not essentially of Lord Ram and his heroism, but also of Sita. It is through Sita that we enter a brave world of remarkable women, some gritty, some gracious and some maleficent. Most women are minor characters, but they play a significant role. Through each one of them in their relationship with Sita are told stories of sisterhood. It starts with Sita and her sisters, Urmila, and her two cousins, Manduvi and Shutakirti, all brought up together in the lap of love and luxury, but most importantly, under the tutelage of a sagacious man called King Janak, a Raj Rishi and a philosopher king who would hold annual philosophical conferences in his court. It is in such a world full of scholars and intellectuals who would indulge in debates and reasoning that the four girls are brought up in Mithila. They are sisters by blood, Sita being an adopted child notwithstanding, and their sisterhood holds a certain significance as these four girls later get married to the four princes of Ayodhya. The four weddings bring them closer while immediately altering their equation. From little girls into little wives, from sisters, they become sisters-in-law. But like the four brothers, this sisterly love too is unique. For this and more, read the current issue of Outlook.